The 35th annual Riverbank Run is just five days away, while most runners are looking forward to the event. The day will be bittersweet for at least one West Michigan family and those running in their honor. Jason Terzis has our story. Sitting right off the Leonard Street exit on the 131 northbound, in the shadows of downtown Grand Rapids, sits Mercantile Bank. In the shadows of the building sits a tiny garden. Those that drive by would never notice it. But for many of those working inside, this little spot means a lot. We chose it specifically here because anyone who walks into the bank, every employee every day would, would see the garden and be reminded. May 14th of last year, 20,000 runners hitting the streets for the annual Fifth Third Riverbank run. But about a mile from the finish line in the 25K, Jason Kinsler suddenly collapses, suffering a major heart attack. Efforts to revive him were futile, and at just 37 years old, with a wife and three young children in the prime of his life, Jason Kinsler was gone. Atherosclerosis is a disease that progresses over years, and unfortunately in his case, it developed in an area, a uh, larger coronary artery in a critical area uh, that resulted in his death. I mean, we're a pretty close team here, and losing Jason just, it was devastating. He was the most amazing husband and father, son, friend, and um, had such a positive impact on everybody that was around him. Jason was a star linebacker at Grand Valley in the mid-90s. He was inducted into the school's Hall of Fame in 2008. He lived a clean life, was in great shape, and was seemingly in picture-perfect health. That's what made his passing all the more shocking. You knew Juan, the way that he took care of himself and the type of shape that he had been in from the time that he had played and, and then carried that forward, it just was a complete shock that, uh, that we had found that out. Out of last year's tragedy, a rebirth of sorts is taking place. Instead of shying away from this year's Riverbank run, those close to Jason are embracing it. Two groups are running in his honor, one consisting of former Grand Valley football players and a larger group of Jason's co-workers at Mercantile Bank. The two groups are known as Team Kinsler, about 70 in all, all participating to raise money for the Jason Kinsler Family First Foundation. Instead of avoiding that day, really, kind of cherishing that day and remembering him in a positive way and all of us running together in, in his memory. The group first organized to raise money for Jason's family to help Christy with the financial responsibility of raising three children. But when they brought the idea to Christy, she shot it down. As hard as it has been to lose Jason, we could not have gotten through this without the support that we've had from our family and our friends, but the community and realizing that not everybody has that. She liked the idea, but she wanted to take it a different direction. She wanted all of us to run in Jason's memory, but any funds we were able to raise would go towards a foundation that would, would help other people that were maybe similar to Christy in that situation with an unexpected loss. And you know, just listening to her vision, um, we all just fell in love with it. I'm a counselor at a middle school, and um, through some of the work that I get to do there, it's a, it's a very different perspective than the community I live in, and um, there's, there was a family there that I was helping try to find resources for who went through something very similar a few months after what my family went through. And so my idea was, okay, enough for us. We're going to be fine. What can we do to help others who go through something similar? Christy says she will not be in downtown Grand Rapids for this year's Riverbank run. It's still too painful, but she will be at the special reception later that night at the Bob to say thanks to all the Team Kinsler runners. The support behind this already has been, it's almost overwhelming, but, but it's not surprising because um, it reflects the man that Jason was and how his presence in this world touched so many lives. And um, so I, I think it has the potential to be really big, and already it is. It, it already is. Jason Turz is reporting the reception at the Bob Saturday night runs from 4 until 8. The 4 and the 8 being Jason's number when he played at Grand Valley. For more information or how you can help, check out KinslerFoundation.org. You can also find them on Facebook. And remember to stick with us for full coverage of the Fifth Third Riverbank run. We will be providing special coverage each day at 5 o'clock. And on Saturday morning before the race, you'll want to tune in for live pre-race coverage with team weather so you're prepared for the big event that starts at 6 a.m. We will also stream the start and finish lines on woodtv.com so we have you completely covered on race day.